Hello guys and welcome back to Play of the J here. We're ready to get started with the uh, round number four, our final round for this evening here for the Battle Arena scrims here. So uh, we had some three cracking games which uh, we've had quite a full night here as um, there's been basically 23 teams for all three rounds so far. So now looking at uh, how things are going here, uh, we still do have uh, 23 teams if not mistaken. I think it's just uh, maybe one team has to leave already, which is uh, probably team one. So anyways, let's get in the game, guys, while we get ready for this uh, final round. So yeah, Revo not going to be in for this round. But yes, in any case, there's still going to be more than 20 teams than our usual. So uh, it's all going to be good. But yep, it's going to be all the way from Valle del Mar all the way towards the eastern side of the map here. So some of the more northern regions are going to be a little bit caught out here and maybe not going to be so uh, opportunistic, you know, for some of these other teams to, to be able to, to take advantage of. But see how that part actually goes. We will be seeing that in Chumacera here are going to be a couple teams, no, a few teams actually dropping out over there. Whereas we already see that the team members from GIF Alpha deciding to drop onto the Southern Island while we have a Potato Squad dropping early on as well to just go a bit northern towards uh, La Drilera. La Drilera? Yeah. But yes, um, we do actually see that there's going to be also um, the Quack Jr. here uh, who are currently also uh, trying to go a little bit further north, but they are actually very close by to the team members from um, Lousy as well. So they're going to have to be mindful of that. Rain, Zera, and the rest of Red Sea going to Power Grid as per the norm. And uh, we see Gang FTY going in this uh, southwestern region from Los Leones. Los Leones itself sees that it's going to be Lousy uh, together with... Um, Kaki Langar, with uh, Quacker, with uh, Buggy Mom, with the uh, Awful Squad, and uh, ooh, it looks like Kimberly here for uh, Team Crayon. Gonna get the first knock, and uh, it's gonna be on Vinky here, and uh, at decent range as well. So Vinky on the multi story office building for the time being, and not really sure if. Uh, Ryujin or Unsteadies could help out Kimberly taking a few bits of uh, damage here so far in this game. And um, now gonna have to try and do what she can as uh, Insane Floyd Azirum all the way in the fighting arena here. And just gonna maneuver around a little bit, see whether or not they can get a, a little bit of a pincer movement going on here. And now it looks like pressure is uh, building onto um, BAE a little bit after they were taking a vehicle close to Impala. But it looks like Batman and another will be able to get out, no problem. But Los Leones looks incredibly crowded, guys. Uh, I mean, some of these guys need to be evicted ASAP. As um, we see that it's Team Quacker over here, squad number 18 on your screen, is going to also be here. Puggy Mum, who is currently um, just a little bit north of their position, at least two of them anyways. But... Um, yeah, I think it might only be the two of them currently in this game. But in the northern side, we see our winners from the last round is going to be the team members from Kaki Langar. And uh, currently, they do actually have an awful squad in close proximity who are hanging out on that eastern side of Los Leones. But for the time being, they should be okay for the most part. Lousy also very close towards the uh, Team Quacker. Uh, at least one of the players are, while the rest of them are hanging around on this western side. But Picado could be a... Whoa, it looks as though that they are able to, to get up to Vinky all the way up on the roof at the moment. So a nice successful res there. One is moving a little bit closer here. See whether or not he can put on more pressure. Kimbri here also um, moving a little bit closer towards this uh, area for now to see whether or not they can come up with it any further. But ooh, it looks like one taking some damage there from um, a no-scope... Uh, Literally no scope, uh, car 98 here. And now Juan is going to try and get away here, but no health available at that present moment in time. And, uh, okay, actually now having health. So, yeah, that's going to be good for them. But, wow, looks like early game for Lemon Lemon Lemon. And they get knocked out by John C. Nobody and the rest of John C's everybody. But now the Nay coming out and see whether or not is it good. But no, it's going to be a little bit far away from uh, one there so shouldn't be able to take them out so we don't have anyone going all the way to the northern side we only have uh, El Azahar and San Martin as the furthest uh, teams forward Golden Army Factory as well as the Puggy Mum guys 
So now we will be seeing how the, the rest of this is going to be developing here. As uh, currently we see Park Troy and the rest of uh, Awful Squad here currently advancing onto this position occupied by Puggy Mum here. And looks like they're just going to posture around a little bit here. But they're not too careful. They might get a little spotted out here. Supak Choi getting knocked down. As, uh, looks like Aung Singapore on to get, be able to get a nice angle. But Don Pablo also going down here. So awful squad in a bit of trouble here. And looks like Aung Singapore going to be able to wipe out all of the players here. So a nice little boost for him as... Uh, able to finish them off all by himself here so um without taking any casualties as well so awful squad goes out in 21st position here but now on he's still in the apartment blocks here at picados and uh, the other two players are currently just hanging out still in that multi-story building so must really like working to hang out there for so long but looks like unsaid he's completely surrounded for the time being and uh, Ryuki and Vinky here are going to see whether or not they, they want to do anything a little bit different for the, for now. But in any case, now it's going to be the time when these teams start thinking about making their rotations into the center of the circle here. As it is actually going to be uh, quite a lot of available spots here in the center of the map. As uh, will give these teams a lot of opportunity to find uh, better spots for themselves here. Maybe also restrict some of the... Uh, advanced movements like this compound for example is, is pretty good and you know um, and usually teams will also try and go there it just makes life difficult for anyone trying to get anywhere close um, in terms of their rotation path but now it looks like Minas NRL is going to have the the rest of teaming queen currently they're still on their in their own world at the moment uh, golden army factory coming down here imagine plus Another one uh, making their way down. Red Sea looks as though that they're also trying to make their way into the zone as well. Now, FFG currently going to be, uh, or sorry, is Team Cracker here um, looking as though that they're moving very close to the team members here from Puggy Mum. So, Puggy Mum, see whether Ang Singapore can continue to carry them as currently Skyrax Frozen and Aplux here all advancing quickly onto this position. But looks like uh, currently Fidox here. Gonna try and move in a little bit more. I'm not sure whether they actually have spotted them or they're just looting up a little bit more here inside this building. And uh, we'll know for certain pretty soon here. It's currently uh, uh, Forzen here. Gonna be able to get a few shots onto Ang, um, but not able to, to do any more from that perspective. But yes, now looking at, at things, we will be seeing that uh, there's gonna be a lot of transitions coming down. We already see that. Silver Wolves making their way further down south here at the moment. And uh, others are currently trying to also uh, sort out their current situations. Speaking of sorting out their current situations, looks like Unsteady is finally able to get out of that building. And he should be able to finish off Assy Rum as well here. So a uh, nice little boon for him. And uh, the rest of his squad should be... Uh, Okay, the rest of his squad, I think, are wiped out. So, actually, I'm not sure that he could actually do much about the situation here. But instead, he's going to hide out by the wall here. He's going to get spotted out by Insane Floyd and one. So, uh, he goes down. It looks like squad 23 goes out in the 20th position here. So, that's going to be the, it for the standoff there in uh, Picado. And now, everyone else is uh, kind of making their own way here. And it looks like Red Sea here facing a lot of long-range fire from uh, Quacker Jr. here. They're occupying this uh, multi-story building here. Except for Missionary, who's currently making as much noise pollution as possible. And might actually be going a little bit too close to the team members over here from Uzi.co. But uh, currently, it doesn't look like they're going to put up too many shots in this direction here. So he's going to be okay for the time being. Now, elsewhere, we will be seeing all these other teams making their way in as well. As uh, Actually, we still see something all the way here in Al-Azhar. Come on, guys. Let's get going. Uh, but yeah, Porto Paraiso, for some reason, is quite vacant here. Usually, it's uh, a very popular spot for most of these teams. So, Blade taking some hits there for Kaki Langar as he is trying to come down from the high ground. Uh, Perpai going to be able to uh, land some shots there. And um, he actually still has uh, the whole uh, squad here of Lousy here with him. So, if they do want to, they can try and push further north here. But Esco Rex is on the western side here. So, it could be an awkward um, situation. But it looks like Legendary 6 and 4 is in here. Going to be able to finish off the rest of Puggy Mum here. And uh, now it looks like Los Leones uh, were reduced down to only three teams here after having at least five just now. 
But now, looks like John C. Nobody and the rest of the squad too here gonna be at this uh, loot crate here trying to get the goodies here as they try and fend off Team Crayon's uh, long range shots. But it looks like they're gonna be able to, to get away with it. As uh, currently... Uh... Okay, yeah, I'm not sure. I think it looks like an AUG, but <laughs> I could be mistaken. But yeah, in any case, we're seeing that also there's going to be the team members here from uh, Minon Copy Jap coming in. Is it Minon Copy Jap or is this uh, Uzi? Ah, oh, this is Uzi, sorry. So yeah, Uzi Co. moving in as well, in just inside the zone. So they're going to occupy this compound for the time being while they wait and see how the rest of it is going to develop here. We see BAE already consolidated position over here on this south uh, eastern side. And um, now looking at things here, Afam and the rest of uh, Kakilanga are trying to get away a little bit here. As uh, we see that fanboy here just trying to put up some shots there for Golden Army Factory. Not able to make enough connections there for the time being. But looking at uh, this, uh, Esco Rex forced to abandon his vehicle. I think it maybe took a little bit too much damage. And he might actually be moving closer towards this church here. Which um, is a nice little vantage point here to prevent... Other teams from advancing. We already see the rest of his team there. But now it looks like uh, Red Sea here taking a lot of shots here from uh, Uzi Co this time. Should be able to get away there. Rain Zara and NRL. So uh, crisis averted. But somewhere where there's uh, not crisis averted. Maluno going down here for his team Silver Wolves. As uh, Mrs. Bourne also going down. Though I think Mrs. Bourne is... Uh, even though this is Team Lousy, Mrs. Bourne should be from uh, GIF Esports. So GIF Alpha is still in the game, if not mistaken. Yep, they're currently at Los Higos as well as Valle del Mar. So uh, looks like Mrs. Bourne could end up be going against his own team. But yes, in any case, uh, Pocoyo able to top that one and uh, take out himself there within his own person. But yes, in any case, uh, that's that happened. And uh, now looking at how things are transpired, all these teams are... Almost inside here, I think we just got the last few who are moving their way and only 28SK who's still a little bit outside for the time being. But now it's shifted a little bit towards the south uh, western side here. Um, most of the teams still being inside, but in the northern side, all these other teams are going to have to haul ass here if they're going to try and get inside in any reasonable amount of pace. And um, it will be interesting to see. I think like uh, the, the vantage point uh that we see here could be the gatekeeping situation here for Kakilanga. currently they have a, a good vision on any of these teams that might be rotating through through here and they do actually have the team members here from uh, red sea that's going to be a lot of shots coming out here rain zara taking a lot of damage and nrl this car spins out here and i don't think that they can get away the car blows up as well nrl getting taken down by blade here and now there's a huge amount of fire there's also going to be golden army factory here putting up those long range shots haha goes also escapes from his vehicle to try and make sure that he can um, um support his teammates a, a little bit more here nrl gonna go down here but the smoke just in time there and looks like rain zara should be okay to get him up but looks like nrl with almost nothing he's got 0 0.01 hp at this point in time so really not a lot but looks like um our second catch of the day is coming through here and looks like um the position is not currently set up esco rex oh it looks like um blade able to catch out kimbri here and kimbri uh esco rex and Alpha. i'm going to continue to put fire onto insane floyd and the rest of team crayon here but uh, a nice little pickup there but blade getting knocked down at long range there so that's going to be a little bit detrimental for them but they should be able to get the res off in just a little bit here and um, now looking at how things are all these teams are coming through here other teams starting to avoid this uh, section here after seeing that there was a lot of potential action there but uh, yeah it looks like rain zara was able to get up nrl there so a little bit safer there for uh, Red Sea and now it looks like Fanboy and the rest of uh, Golden Army Factory just gonna be bugging out there as uh, they are also put, trying to put some shots onto Teeming Queen as well who which uh, does see Chloe uh, escape just a little bit further towards the eastern side but uh, should be okay but except for the fact that they're taking a lot of long range hits and they actually flip the bike so that's going to be a little unfortunate. Rave Chow and Chloe going to be finished off there. None less my pear pie. So nice little gift there. 
never gonna say no for that one here. But now we see Gang FTY putting up some long range shots, this time on towards the team members uh, of Minon Kopi Jop as, as well. So, um, remember they have a, a score to settle after they were duking it out in round number two, where Gang FTY was... Uh, Oh no, round number one. Round number one on the military island where Gang FTY came out on top and took that chicken dinner. But now looks like Haha Gus and the rest of Red Sea have to be careful here. Dreams here uh, might uh, be a little bit of a night terror here if he can get into position here. But currently he's just going to hang out inside that position for the time being. And now we see that Gift Alpha here going to be moving across the bridge here, finally escaping from the the southern island here as they look to try and get join up with the rest of uh, 28 sk but it looks like dankirk here a little bit separated here but he should be able to offer a lot of uh, information there for the rest of his squad as to where the enemy movements are but it looks like parapply and the rest of lousy are getting shot at long range by the team members of uh, silver wolves right now but so far, I'm just not being able to land uh, too many of the shots at this kind of range. But it looks like Imagine not doing himself any favors there. Knocking himself out a bit here. But now it looks like Junk sees everybody here under pressure. This time from Cracker here. After they finally moved in from the... Move into the Los Leones area here. And uh, looks like only John C. Nobody currently who's knocked down. But the rest of the players here are all outside the zone. They have got miles to go. And Cracker here... Is, uh, doesn't seem to be looking to, to withdraw from this fight anytime soon. And that could be a little bit of a dicey situation. But now it looks like they're heading a little bit further south. They might be trying to secure a vehicle now. They might be able to find one, but it will take a little bit of time here. But now it looks like Dankirk opening up onto the players from Gif Alpha here. Cerebrex girl getting um, a lot of close shaves there. Um, going to be bugging out a little bit further down the hill here. Just trying to evade some Dankirk's uh, fire coming in. But uh, it is uh, looking precarious as now we see Missionary uh, taking a lot of hits from the players of Red Sea. And it uh, looks like Hahogus and the rest going to also be lining things up here. There's a uh, KMF... One here coming in for Quack Jr. here and uh, see whether or not he's going to be able to prevent further shots from uh, ruining on this parade. But it looks like I'm Cold Blood here, going to put up some of those long range shots as well here towards the, the Red Sea players. He is just trying to support Dreams just a little bit here as uh, his only other surviving team member. Now, Dreams. On the high ground here, not sure whether or not he's going to be in a good position. They do actually have to worry about the oncoming threat from these uh, guys from the Golden Army. As uh, currently they're running straight into Nine Holy and uh, Shah Z for now. It looks like I'm Cold Blood going to throw up the the flashbang here, but I'm not sure whether he's going to be in a great position as Nine Holy comes down and I'm Cold Blood able to catch him out there. But it looks like that's going to be it, and uh, just like that we saw that. Uh, woo! Not only is uh, uh, Teaming Queen down, we also saw that uh, the the team members from uh, John C. Everybody is eliminated. This time with a concerted effort from uh, Kaki Langar here. After they were able to get uh, all those kills there, but uh, they only have three players left here. As uh, they were able to catch that ill-fated rotation. And here in the northern side is going to be the Red Sea guys uh, duking it out with the Golden Army still. As uh, looks like Hag was not able to save his teammate there. But uh, looks as though NRL is still up for the time being. So Reigns Era getting taken out at the moment. It looks like Shazi taking a lot of long range shits here. And uh, Nine Holy also just only able to get up the heel. So NRL starting to move up on the high ground here. See whether or not he can catch out Nine Holy for the time being. So far, it doesn't look like it's going to be too promising. Uh, he this is not too sure exactly that he is there. So Nine Holy staying perfectly quiet for the time being here. So we'll see how that part plays out in this game. But now looks like uh, there's a little bit of a fire opening up here after now Shazi also trying to get some better vision onto Hahagus and NRL and he will have a lot of shots being sprayed down and looks like just a little bit of health left there and uh, should be able to be a little bit safe here as uh, currently we have 47 alive guys and we are this far into the game so uh, you could expect to see a lot of these teams having a lot of trouble especially here on the northern side but it looks like Sophia getting eliminated for BAE as uh, that's going to be it the going for them going out in 16th position here but uh, now it looks like uh, Manparang and Allen's here having to try and duke it out with the Minokopi Jump guys who are still very much on this uh, 
southeastern edge here and could make things a little bit difficult. Looks like uh, Snazu going to take that buggy there as he tries to get out a little bit here. But Manprang going to try and pin down the other two players here. But they do have another buggy available to them. But Rosox D getting under a lot of pressure here from Allens and Manprang. And um, it's going to be difficult for him to disengage with that vehicle without taking a little bit of damage. It looks like Hunter's crew getting himself knocked out. So uh, a little bit unfortunate for that one. Insane Floy moving in and trying to dodge further fire here. Currently he's uh, really going downhill here. As uh, taking a lot of shots from Mr. Pa. But it looks like Mr. Pa going to be okay for the time being here. And uh, going to uh, just keep up more vision here as the rotation coming in here. Now all these other teams are making their way over here. But Lousy here is in a good position here. If they decide to start shooting at these rotations coming here. Silver Wolf's in a bit of trouble here. Luvi Pashao here after he explodes into a ball of flames going a little bit too close to the sun there. And now we have the three players here from Kaki Lagar. They do have a lot of teams rotating around them. And uh, let's see whether or not they can spot out Haha Gus and uh, NRL for right now. But looks like Afam getting run over here. And uh, Haha Gus will go down in turn. NRL going to keep on going here. As uh, now Blade uh, going to finish off Haha Gus for the time being. And uh, Afam should be rest here okay. Um, but looks like Hunter's crew and KMF1 get eliminated here. And uh, I think that's going to be it for them. But now NRL going to be the last player left here. And he gets caught out by uh, the Minong Kopi Jap guys who are carrying a little bit further south. They actually managed to uh, escape that uh, vantage point that um, Gang FTY had on them. So now Gang FTY only having Manparang and Allens left have to start moving in there. So looking at, at things, we also see that resurgence here in the southern part of the circle advancing onto something for the time being. But now Esco, Rex, and the rest here are going to put some long range shots onto uh, Forzen here. As currently, we do see that uh, they are able to knock down one of the players there from Cracker. But uh, now they have uh, sights set onto the, the other players. Uh, Esco, Rex able to take down Mrs. Born there. Uh, with the MK14 and now he's going to set his sights onto the rest of Minokopi Jap. But Lousy is also in the vicinity there as he did see uh, Mrs. Bourne and the rest of the team. So now looking like they are very much in the center of the circle here. Uh, or central position to all these teams here in this northwestern part. So it's going to be a little bit of a dicey situation here if they're not too careful. But uh, looking at this, we see that GIF Alpha here currently very central here and should have a very good vantage point on the rest of these teams. Resurgence here going to be on this southern edge still as they are all trying to advance up the hill just a little bit here as uh, these four members from something just making life difficult for Resurgence to try and move further up the field. But looking on top of the hill is going to be the team members from GIF Alpha here making... Um, Managing to stay alive here for the time being. As uh, now we see Yuan and Insane Floyd raining down onto all these teams here. Coming in from the southern side as now Research is trying to advance further here. As uh, currently Lubius and uh, Kasake just trying to hold it together. But it looks like Kasake goes down here. And now Luvius here going to have the smoke here. But it looks like Insane Floyd going to be able to help out a little bit there. And Luvius Brax are going to capture those kills there. And uh, Brax should be res here. Pattern a lot should be okay as well. I think he's uh, close enough that he should be okay to be res here after it's only his first down here of the game. But looks like uh, Pear Pie and the rest of uh, Lousy here also under pressure from Esco Rex and the rest of Kaki Langer at the moment after they're moving in from that eastern side of the circle and uh, looks like with this new circle is going to effectively make these guys gatekeepers for all these uh, teams here it's going to be the team members of teaming queen as well as or is this cracker i think it's cracker yeah sorry it's cracker actually as well as the uh, lousy players here Mamprang is the last player left alive here for gang fty and he actually uh, can see Rix is just here and uh, he's going to open up here but oh not able to connect enough there and looks like Mamprang getting eliminated there by Rix is there so that's it for gang FTY and uh, now looking at things here we're saying the push coming in here from potato squad here after they're trying to take this compound occupied by silver wolves currently uh, Akaxi here and uh, Sly DD Currently just uh, hanging out for the time being. Going to try and slow down this push here as much as they can. But both of these teams not going to worry too much as they are both currently inside the zone. So offering both of these guys um, the opportunity to uh, last a bit longer here. If they're able to spot out or 
um, catch out exactly where the other players are and surprise them, then they would have the advantage moving in towards the, the future circles. But for now, this circle is closing in and Lousy is still outside here. They currently got Kaki Langar as well as uh, Minon Kopi job here. Um, so that could be a little bit of a dicey situation, but looks like Minon Kopi uh, job here, uh, just going to pull down the fort, not be too aggressive here, as a number of smokes are being deployed here by the team members of um, Lousy as they are advancing onto the Minon Kopi job compound. Now it looks like K-Bytes, Snazu and Grozak's D going to try and return a little bit of fire here while they try and restrict this further advancement. Looks like K-Bytes going to land some hits there as he's uh, got Dara j here in his sights and the grenade lands right in his face there. I don't know how he managed to survive there. But it looks like Rosok's D going to go down there. And now we see Mrs. Bourne pushing up on this right side, putting up some shots on K-Bytes. And K-Bytes not getting shot there. And actually he's shooting well above the head there of Mrs. Bourne, but uh, he's going to back off there. And uh, looks like Lim Lindo going to be able to put the finishing touches on the last two players of Silver Wolves there in the northern part of the circle. But now Dara j here has come all the way inside this compound already here, and he's going to take a couple of hits there from Snazu. But Snazu going to just try and use the smoke cover for the time being, get Snazu up here, and then they can resume the fighting. As uh, currently there's only K-Bites all in the rear here to try and fend off this uh, potential push coming out here. And he does spot out some of them, but he is able to catch out Rixus in particular here. And he's going to try and get to a better vantage point here. As, uh, oh, lo looks like the sound of that nice Graza there really going to strike some fear here into these guys here. And uh, looks like Roskasi going to try and push around the side here. But looks like Dara Jeva going to use that Graza there to full extent there. And, uh... Looking like a little bit of trouble there, but looks like uh, one and uh, insane Floyd go down here, and that's going to be it for Team Crayon. But now this assault is still ongoing here, but looks like Legendary Six in a, a very difficult position for Team Cracker here, as um, now they are trying to advance further onto this position. Looks like Parapai going to be able to confirm the kill onto Rosalux D and uh, Snazu here. So now K Bytes all alone here against the four team members from Lousy. So Lousy having. Uh, a pretty good game here. They're able to survive with four players up here into the stage and having a s relatively strong position here in the circle. So K-Bite's going to try and do the best that he can. But now there's the advancement coming in from the, the players from Potato Squad here onto Kaki Langer. But Esco Rex going to back up a little bit here after taking down Ghost. No, he's going to try and nade out what he can. Um, trying to maintain that high ground advantage. Blade takes on I Leon. So it's only two players left here. And... Uh, Esco Rex just trying to continue to flank around the high ground here and see whether or not he's able to catch out any of these guys. He deploys the nade here, trying to catch out that further res that's going to come off Lindo, uh, getting shot at just a little bit here. And now Esco Rex going to try and push down here, see whether or not he can catch out. He manages to finish off I Leon, and whoa, looks like uh, Lousy after being completely alive just now, completely wiped out by Resurgence. So they go out in uh, sixth position here. Now we see that uh, Esco Rex is going to try and advance further here as it uh, looks like he's able to get that final knock onto Ghost there. And that's going to be it for Potato Squad here in round number four. Now there's only going to be um, four teams left here, guys. We do have four players still up here for Gift Alpha as uh, we still have K-Bytes here alive here. And uh, I thought he was going to die for sure after he was getting stormed by those four lousy players. And uh, in the end, it looks like Resurgence came in to save him here. But uh, I'm not sure if they are aware of uh, K-Bytes' presence. He's probably just going to try and take it as easy as possible. But Esco Rex going to spot out Mr. Pa here. And he's going to prime that nade there. See whether or not he can catch out uh, Mr. Pa. It looks like he's able to do so there. And uh, now it looks like Vampires and 28SK uh, going to put up some fire themselves here is they are going to try and support their fallen or rather avenge their fallen team member but now off i'm gonna put up some shots of himself from the northern side of the circle but so far not able to land uh too many connections here now a little bit of a standoff here in terms of the distribution but lar from larger by large and by far here we see luvius and the rest of oh luvius just missing esco rex there with the Car 98 there, and now Brax taking a few bits of damage here, so it looks like they are completely aware of Resurgence's presence here, just a little bit south of their position. So let's see how this is going to affect them into the next circle.
And looks like it's going to very much be on this compound occupied by uh, Gif Alpha. So they are quickly rotating to try and take advantage of the position that they have. As um, currently it uh, will offer them quite a little bit of cover here. Uh, there are not too many windows to try and put some pressure onto Esco Rex and uh, the rest here. And looks like Esco Rex knocking down vampires here but taking a little bit of damage himself. But Blade is having a great game here after he has nine kills himself. And uh, he's uh, having... Uh, a little bit of movement towards the players from Resurgence as Luvius gets finished off by Afam at the, for the time being and now Blade just going to move around a little bit more and see whether or not he can spot out Gif Alpha and it looks like Serbex Girl taking a few hits in her direction but she's able to get out for the time being now Esco Rex, Blade and Afam starting to advance towards the circle Brag's going to stay on this edge here he has to contend with K bytes for now, so it's going to be three versus three and a one beaver one for the time being. So a little bit uh, peculiar in that sense, but in any ways, uh, we'll see how that is going to be panning out here as we see the three team members from Kake Lung are starting to advance onto this position. The nades are coming out to try and defend. Uh, that left flank here as much as possible from the, the GIF Alpha players as they're trying to rotate a little bit more themselves. But soon that they might even be in a position where they'll be in between Brax and um, and the rest of these players here from Kaki Langer. As uh, currently they're just going to stick it out in that two-story building. But uh, it doesn't offer the greatest of vision here. And currently there's a good spread here from the three players from GIF Alpha. But it looks like K bites here, and not sure if he's gonna notice the um, K Brax right next to him, and uh, looks like Brax gonna be able to catch him out there, and that's gonna be it. So Brax gonna maybe start coming in here and see whether he can get some nice third party shots and see whether he can steal a chicken dinner here if he can. Uh, but looks like um, the three players here from Kakilang are just gonna occupy this house for the time being here while they wait for these players to. Uh, uh, see whether they're going to show themselves or not. Now, there is still one more circle before um, these players make their final decision in terms of what they want to be doing here. So they just want to try and retain their play players. And it looks like Brax going to give his position away just a little bit here by putting up some of those long-range shots. It looks like another smoke going to come out from 28SK here as he just tries to prevent those long-range shots from affecting vampires for the time being. Now, things are a little bit narrow on this side. There's not a lot of uh, angles of fire, especially for Kakilangar, where they don't have a lot of windows there available to them to start making some shots further south. But looking at the circle, it's it going to be favoring the players from GIF Alpha for the time being, and Cerbex Girl and the rest are going to see whether or not they can actually uh, prevent further advancement. Blade actually coming out from the side here, and... Uh, ooh. Looks like both of them... Oh, Blade actually getting hit by Cerbex Girl in that instance there. Ascorex jumping down right in front as well, but looks like Cerbex Girl not able to land a second shot in a row there. Now, just going to put a lot of pressure on this left side. They're going to be forced to move on to the right. Brax might actually have uh, good vision over some of the movements coming in here from the rest of... Uh, players of uh, Kake Langer, but now 28SK going to try and see whether he can launch his own nade there, prevent the, the coming advancement from the rest of the players. But Vampire is just hanging out here on this right side. He doesn't know where the last player is, and he's just trying to see whether or not he can prevent the, the advancement. But it looks like 28SK taking a lot of hits here, and it looks like Cerberus Girl going to have a good vantage point here, uh, but jumps straight back down here. There's Afam all the way in the back here, and uh, looks like Blade is the furthest player for forward here and currently he does hear the player still there and he's going to get the nice jump shot onto 28 sk um looks like uh, it's going to be two players left here for gift alpha here for the time being as blade looks to continue his um, crazy number of kills here in this game and cerbex girl um goes down here and uh, now vampire is the last player here blade going to try and see whether or not he can catch his head out and it looks like Brax is coming in here to start, try and uh, see whether or not he can throw a spanner in the works for all these players here. Esco Rex getting knocked down as well. So Afam trying to come over the top here, but that should be good enough. And uh, Brax gets taken out here. But that nice jump shot coming in from Blade after he is able to secure uh, kill number 10, if not mistaken there. And 18 kills in total there for... Uh, Kaki Langer, as they are able to take the second chicken dinner in a row, and they did so with three players as well in this game. Fleoflux not being able to, to join them, but looks like Blade able to pull the slack here after he's able to get 10 kills by himself there on the way for 18 kills 
for Kake Langer. So nice game from them after they are able to stand tall for the in respect of all the scrims that were played tonight. And in second place, it is going to be um, our resurgence here together with uh, Brax getting that nice last spot there. He's able to catch up the last player from Minokopi and uh, also try and chip in right at the end when uh, GIF Alpha went out in third position there. And uh, yeah, Blade had a nice uh, jump shot as well onto 28SK there, able to catch him there just below the windowsill. So that was a nice pickup there. And um, in fourth place was going to be uh, Minokopi there after we did see K Bytes. Um, I think it was, yeah, K Bytes who uh, got caught out by Brax there after both of the solo players were trying to move in towards the end. And rounding up the top five, it is going to be Potato Squad. So Potato Squad uh, coming in fifth position here. I think that's going to be the best result that they've had for this evening here. So guys, that is going to be it for the Battle Arena PUBG scrims for tonight here. So thank you so much for, for tuning in to Play of the J. So remember, if you did enjoy what you liked here, um, please do give the page a follow here to be kept in up to date of future content, uh, live content. And uh, if you just want to watch any of the scrims that have been played and broadcasted on Play of the J, just have a look at my YouTube channel with the link there in the description of this post. So um, you can have a look at all the Scrim City as well as Battle Arena scrims if you do want to check out and see how the lo uh, regional competition looks like in this competitive PUBG settings. So that is going to be it for me tonight. Uh, guys here so uh, thanks so much for for watching and I'll see you guys next time